All right, hi three G's guys. Uh, old blue cord back again. Uh, gonna get started back working on the cars 2023, and uh, I'm gonna do something that I have not done. I can't remember when I did this. Now I know it's not take the tires off the car. I know it's not put it on the lift, but I cannot remember the last time I took a set of rotors off. And got them turned. Turning rotors used to be a thing in my day when you got a brake job done. You got new pads and they turned the rotors and you were perfectly fine. You took off. You got plenty of life out of your rotors. And then of course, as rotors got maybe thinner, cheaper, worse metal, better metal, made in countries beside the United States. That was a bad thing. You turn the rotors and a week later God come back there warp. And then you turn them again and then you come back again and they're warped. And, uh, yeah, so, got where, no places, they didn't really turn the rotors anymore, so, I've got kind of an idea of a place to try, maybe two places, I'm really not gonna, I'm not gonna name any names or do anything, I'm just not gonna talk about it, but, uh, kind of wanted to try this before Christmas, and got tied up on some things, uh, kind of glad I did, because I ended up parking my Jeep in the backyard, and then the roofers came, and the reason why I did that is because I bought brand new tires, and I didn't want the roofers to get nails in my tires, so, <laughs> well, ended up, ended up outsmarting myself, and, uh, yeah, so as I pull out from the back, back here, I've got a nail in my tire, so, it wasn't really the roofers' fault, but, <clears throat> as you can see, by just passing the old magnet around a few times, uh, yeah, did pretty well, <laughs> Now, of course, the old rusty nails aren't the roofer's fault, but it just goes to show you you should run a magnet around. But uh, And this baby right here I pulled out right in front of the garage where I pull in. So right where those tires point, <laughs> this thing was laying there. I don't understand. I don't even know where it comes from. I hadn't seen it. It's got serrated deal. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. So there you go. So, yeah, need to clean them nails off, rerun that magnet around there. Got my... Got my Jeep tire back on. Took a whole week. Long story long story there. I got a brand new tire. I didn't get the other one patched because obviously I got four brand new tires with 386 miles on them. I don't want to like patch one. That was the whole reason to get a new set in the first place. But yeah, so back on the road with that. And then now we are going to take the calipers off, which I'm not going to bother talking about too much, but pull the rotors. And, uh, yeah, get them turned. See what happens. Just get, all I want to do is get the slot rod off. And, uh, but the debate with me is, of course, the pads. I mean, God, they got tons of meat on them. I don't know if we'll be able to, oh, yeah, we can see good with this camera. You know all that meat on there. And these are EBC yellows. I kind of like this pad okay. Probably not for this car, the weight. Uh, it just takes forever to get the, the heat into them, so... Um, and this is the type R brake setup that I did ride up on, I don't know how long ago, 15 years ago, on 3G's, but they're 11.1 inch rotors, uh, type R calipers, and then you can use Integra type R brake pads, and they make 400 different varieties, so it's kind of cool. So, yeah, going to go ahead and finish up on that, go get them turned tomorrow, and I'll report back. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> I end up buying new rotors. Well, let's see what happens. I'm going to get them turned. Get this junk off of them. Uh, maybe fiddle with this caliper a little bit. We'll talk about that in another video. And then, of course, the no-start battery thing. I don't know. Uh, this battery's sat now about 24 hours, and it's not that old. Yeah, there's the date on it right there, right? Yeah. So, it needs a charge, though, because let's see. I just checked it. Yeah, and that was with the door open for a little while. I was fiddling with uh, trying to strap the car down. I usually put a strap on the car to keep it just in case it'll slip, and I can't find the right ratchet strap. I don't know what happened to that, but uh, anyway, so it went from 12.4 to 12.3 to 12.09 in just that short period just with the dome light on. So this battery needs a charge, and that's, that's cool. We'll, put a, we'll slap the charge on it tonight right now. Got a nice little fire going. And, uh, yeah. 
we'll go ahead and uh, finish just pulling these calipers off. We'll just hang, find some wire and hang them up. Get them old nasty rotors off. And then, of course, I did all the suspension check-in fasteners. And uh, I shook the tires. And uh, go ahead and get down here low. Yeah, so I've got, you know, I've got the custom coilovers. And then some custom stuff in here with camber adjuster. So you want to check all that. And just make sure nothing's gotten loose. Uh, especially if you got custom parts, lots of oil and grease in there. I'm probably going to clean that up a little bit. I think that's mostly from the valve cover. That's what's so sad about that. And the valve cover is working good. So, uh, I'll probably do a video about that later on. But I'm pretty happy with that. So, yeah, obviously these rotors are nasty. The car's been sitting. It's been sitting outside. Uh, I know some idiot on 3G said, well, you just drive around. This, ro this rust will come right off. Well, guess what? I drove around. The rust don't come off. Rust is very hard substance, so the brake pad is not going to scrub it off. So there we go. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the update. Uh, and I'll fill y'all guys all in, but at least I'll get get some uh, fresh meat on the rotors. And again, the pads probably really should. I hate to, but I should probably change them. But I'm gonna I'm gonna pull them off and look at them. I may do a little scuff and buff and put them back on, but. uh yeah, so, yeah, take care of the nail problem, take care of the rotor problem, uh, and I got a couple other things in mind for the old car, but we'll keep, we'll keep going on that, and, uh, yeah, go ahead and charge this battery up, I'm not gonna do much more than just charge the battery right now, and then maybe think about doing a starter, but, uh, for the time being, over and out from old blue. Thanks for looking. And oh, I got 100 subscribers. I want to thank you all for that too. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so I got some stuff coming up. And uh, looking forward to spring. Thanks for all for looking.